this because I know it will be as popular to many people as a fart in a condensed room with limited breathing apparatus. However, I do and say the following in the name of the protection and the sustenance and the betterment of the realm. England, Britain, Great Britain, Blighty. You see, I'm worried about the forthcoming election. I'm not overly political. If I was, you would have seen me on TV already arguing for some bollocks case. But I don't really get involved because the bigger majority at the moment of voice, politically, is one I find grubby and I'm reminded of 2 Timothy 3 in the Bible when it comes to the push for all inclusivity because of course those who exclude certain members biblically from society will be excluded from this monumental swarm of quasi-satanic perverts and Muslims, which you could argue in true Christianity are merely idolaters to a foreign cult. Which brings me to this polemic on why you should actually continue to vote Conservative at the forthcoming general election. Yes, I know. That is not going to sound good idea or popular, but I'll tell you why it's the safest and best idea we've got, politically. Because we're under great threat as Britain at the moment, thanks hugely to Farage, the imbecile, where things were going quite well under a cohesive Europe, back when Europe was working more in tandem with Britain and the Allied forces, and America was overseeing a grand dominion of world peace largely, with little wars in funny places just to keep down the level of terrorism and Al Akbar woo going on in the cult's tentacles of foreign displacements of particular um, unit operations. But they're not what we deal with in Britain. Terrorism is not our bag, whatever conspiracy theorists say. We do not go out there and blow up innocent people in the name of God, even though many of us, like me, totes believe in God, right? I know there's a God. Don't bother arguing with me about it. You'll lose. Can I explain it scientifically? No. But I know what's happened to me. And I am very real. So let's get to it. This. With my cheap pen because we can't afford to upgrade currently. Don't think I'm rich saying this. I just like law, order, peace and stability and intelligence and a good infrastructure, a trustworthy operating system in the economy, and excellent progression in technology, and in some places the arts. So imagine this is the traditional conservatives' strong, strong, strong power. Now, if you're in this loop, that's alright, but who is, who is not in the loop, and who is suffering because of people in this loop? Well, the ones to watch out for is the invasion of the foreign ideology Islam. This is not racist. You must not think being opposed to Islam is racism. This is not a skin pigmentation hue issue. That would be retarded. If you think that, you are an imbecile. There is nothing racist about being opposed to a heretical ideology. Not racist, okay? Very dangerous in the wrong hands, and we don't want it in Britain. So what can we do? Well, if you're sick and tired of the boring conservatives, because everything just goes along so tediously and according to plan in a navel-gazing, humdrum way of being woefully British, but, you know, it's all quite nice. Well, that's about as good as it gets, really, these days under Brexit, I'm afraid to say. Because what are we going to have? Labour? Well, Labour are a good, could be a good majority. But their track record in governance is worse than the Tories. That's why the Conservatives keep getting into power. Even when we have all these times of woe and depression and sadness, and in this case pestilence, and in some cases foreign wars. It is nonetheless Labour who continuously lead us up the garden path of vis visionary cackery, and within years we're more fucked than we've ever been. Just look at New Labour, look at the 70s, right? It doesn't take genius to remember all this. 
but conservatives are definitely flagging. Why is that? Because we've got too many people in a popularised international spread of mass information, much of it bullshit, that the conservatives are on the flat. We don't have a strong enough visionary leader to guide the way to show you all the best policy and practice out there available in our free libertarian society that we fought the Nazis to protect, as well as protecting many other people. Right? And don't, I know I wasn't in World War II, but both my grandfathers very much served, and we've got a glass from the Monte Cassino battle at home in one house, and we've got a telescope from a sinking ship somewhere in the PQ-19, or was it PQ-17? The PQ-17 convoy, one of the ships went down, my granddad jumped on board and rescued the telescope, right? That's action-packed stuff that happened in reality, not in Hollywood fantasy. Hollywood, by the way, often had traditional history, along with America itself, of hating Britain and the royal family, if you know your history and your biscuits, right? So the conservatives we're accustomed to are quite a stronghold of peace, wealth, generally upward living, and I, I, I've always considered the peace of conservatives better than, than anything else. It just is. I know it's a bit boring, and it's not like you want to go out and do loads of ease and go to a rave and think, this is wild and get laid. It's not really like that. But it's a bit more religious and meditative, frankly, and takes a little acumen. But never mind. Now, the problem we have is we've also got the... Uh, Smaller um, parties, Greens, and the Lib Dems. And to all you racists out there and generally hateful people, we've now got a far right group growing support called, what's it called again? Not Remain, that was, that's something completely different. Uh, regain? Is it Regain the shit or something? I don't know what it's called. Re... Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, whatever it's called. Fox's party. Fox's egomaniac party of trying to keep the upper crust British elite firmly in the royal tradition of a racist and bloody violent system of events to maintain control. But that's not actually how true blue Tories think or operate at all. I know, I'm surrounded by them all my life. I went to good schools, I know good parents, my own parents, my own family, extended family, friends, their friends, extended family friends, all good professional intelligent people who generally are pretty safe in their pension plans long range and their sound trustworthy bank accounts with conservative rule. I know it's about as hip and trendy to the hip and trendy people as a kick in the face from a Nazi jackboot. But that's where we're going wrong, you see? Because now look, we have now um, a very interesting image. Now what we're going to have is if the Islamic party gets in, all the Muslims, pretty much, will vote because that's what Muslims do. They're like a virus that go into places and cause kerfuffle in the name of Allah when we're all just chilling in the name of Jesus. Right? Now the Conservatives are more free and su supportive of freedom of speech and free economy and all these things m more so than you would have us believe and certainly more than any tyrannical, corrupt, fascist government and I don't care what anyone says, the police force in this country are not corrupt because I've been on the wrong side of them a couple of times and they could have banged me up for, in a corrupt world for X, Y, Z, they could have shot me for X, Y, Z in a corrupt world. But they didn't because they're professionals and they believe in the morality of law and I was thus exonerated from all the things that I nearly got into trouble for. All right? Now, but this is the crux of the whole spiel, the whole symposium, the whole polemic now. Right? If you order people doubting and worried and fearful and not believing and a bit, you know, a bit yellow around the gills, right? You, and you want change, change, we want change, right? Right, because we haven't got enough money, have we? I'm included, although a lot of people I know spend all their money on cocaine, but let's not go there, I'm not one of them, right? But we have all these people thinking of voting other parties. 
Now, can, it won't take a genius to see what will happen if this does occur, right? People wanting change away from this Zen-like piece of One Nation Toryism will... They would just they remind me of Nazis. I mean, the Nazis wanted change, and look how that ended up. Why do you want... At least, if you want change, say what you want to change into. Don't just say, we want change. That's so abstract. You know, it doesn't make any... It's stupid. It's, it makes you sound like an idiot. We want change. Oh, right. Bang. What do you think of that? Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Well, you wanted change. That might be one form. Are you stupid? What do you want to change? Would you like mustard and ketchup on this hot dog? And onions. You know? Anyway. So the problem we're going to have come the election is due to weak leadership, Farage's schisming of the island, and Islam's influx of a foreign agenda, the Conservative Party will be diminished, and due to the first-past-the-post voting system in this country, we won't have a strong British government. We will have a polarised government of many forces, or maybe a huge Labour majority, but that's not great, really, as for aforementioned reasons, and because they're hugely sympathetic a lot of the time towards this bunch over here, who are just going to grow and grow and grow. So we're now, thanks to Brexit, in a position where the Tories just have to remain. If they want peace and well-being and upwardly mobile business lifestyles and good forms of living with good business practice and all these things we are accustomed to and do, right, then... We're going to have to remain a one-nation Tory stronghold to, to fend off the influx of a dangerous and foreign ideology which will only make things far worse. We're not going to all end up in Disneyland overnight with a change of a government except for a few high-ranking people in the different parties who will have their honeymoon period in politics think it's all going swimmingly, look at me, I'm doing great giving this lecture to people about X, Y, and Z and then, as usual, because it hasn't got great thinking behind it, hasn't got great governance, hasn't got professional expertise, like building nuclear um, facilities to generate enough power, which is necessary if you want clean, affordable, decent energy. And they're not done by idiots. They do know what they're doing. Right? <coughs> so, just trust me on this one. I know it's not cool. Politics is shit. I hate it. It was two of the worst years of my life studying for that A-level. And um, I, I, I just know that this, this election is just going to be disastrous if we all splinter off into different factions. We need to... The true English inherent brethren of the ancient familial tribe need to remain in their stronghold peacefully, and, and giving out reasons as to others, maybe even helping them financially if you've got some money, as to why Conservatives aren't all the demonic weirdos of quasi-fascism, which is the wrong word to use for Conservatives, because we, we took on the Nazis, right, if you remember. So please stop talking bullshit, because all these little revolutionary factions are so filled with conspiracy, misinformation and bullshit that they, that you can't talk to them anymore. These people are impossible to communicate with because they're so fixated in their quasi-neo-Nazi dystopian conspiracy bubble that it's just going to end in havoc. They're not professional-minded. They're not clever. They're not decent. They're warped. And I say this is a schizophrenic who did too much acid in 1995 at Glastonbury Festival, which has a lot to answer for with regards to mental health and actual people dying. Not that many, but Glastonbury don't have no death count, but Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this rather boring symposium in politics, because it's really important to me that Britain is safe, secure, and wealthy and awesome internationally for its people, and at the moment we are not. And it's hugely the fault of following big mouth despots like Farage in glorious positions of power who wield a legion of you simple minded people with just his voice but no real acumen, intelligence, foresight or long range vision replanned behind it. He's just full of puff and wind, man. 
and he's just and he's just nearly wrecked this island entirely himself. He's not a hero of Britain. He's a bellend. Right. So this is that sort of done. We've basically got to stop these guys from getting too big, and we can only do that if we all concentrate our votes on Old Faithful. I can't believe I managed to get most of that out in one shot, but. Trust me, I'm not anti-royalist, I'm not particularly a pro-royalist. I just don't mind. They're quite nice, aren't they? I don't think they're all satanic shape shapeshifting lizard alien paedophiles, if that's what you're thinking. I think they're human beings, born into positions of affluence and prestigious power, yes. But that doesn't give you the right to hate, spit abuse and kill them. After all, the way I won the argument about royalism the other day to a drug dealer was, uh, he said, what have the royals ever done for us? And I just looked at him and said, they give you the money to buy drugs. He was gutted, as he is, because he's an idiot, doesn't think, doesn't really know anything. Like many of you out there, really stupid, a lot of you. But you can read books down your municipal library and learn about all these things, which is why I know the Conservatives need to up their game, and Rishi's okay by me, he may be a bit wet and weak, but the numbers are secure, and he's not even taking into account the cocaine deficit. Which I don't know how you can tolerate losing billions of quid for min millions of people sniffing white powder up their nose so they lose parts of their brain and become retarded for a few hours, while speaking at high speed about the price of bananas. So there we go. If you want England to remain at peace, forward, visionary head, and we'll work on a long range vision, don't, you know. You've got think tanks and urban space tools operating out your butt, right? But they're the safest. These guys aren't. That would be mayhem. These guys will be mayhem. Probably mayhem. And they already are in their own party anyway. And these guys are just too small. It would be a wasted vote. So consolidate power of what you innately have as a British free citizen and keep it real. That's all I'm saying. I'm not looking for a fight, I'm not looking for abuse, this is how I think, and I think I'm quite right here, and you might agree with me, and if you do, we've got to do this. Focus on the God to heal me right I set the mind to stun as I deliver you quite the night